Take a look at this video shot last week in Brevard County as deputies arrest a man who hit police cruisers during a chase. In the video, you can see what appears to be an officer hitting that suspect repeatedly. And it's not the first time local officials have had to use this kind of force. Uh, not by a long shot. Local law officers have been seen in several recent high profile violent confrontations with criminal suspects. West Tuesday and Billow shows us a chase that came to blows and a confrontation that came to gunfire and looks at how officers are trained to handle them safely. And legally. Right up here. Uh, up, he's up. backing up. Hang on. On Friday, Titusville police officers and Brevard County Sheriff's deputies risked their lives arresting a man they'd chased for miles. It resulted in some blows to subdue the struggling suspect. The arrest was made safely. Last night, the story was different when the sheriff says a deputy was forced to shoot a man who was shooting at him. It all brings up the question of how officers should approach violent suspects. Here at the Public Safety Institute at Eastern Florida State College, they train police officers how to deal with these kinds of situations. And one of the main things they tell them is not to lose control of their emotions. Your mindset has to be so on point, and the attitude that you're taking on that is going to be huge in the, um, the safe recovery of this individual. Institute Public Safety Coordinator Mike Cador did not directly address Friday's Titusville arrest or last night's shooting. He says excessive force is a judgment call. Certain tactics, such as striking a suspect, could be overboard in one situation, but allowable in another. Force meets force. If we have to escalate, we will do that. If we're in a position where deadly force has to be utilized, and that's what we're trained to do, deadly force um, will be utilized. Titusville Police and Brevard County Sheriff's officials have not granted our requests since Friday for an explanation of the Friday arrest. In that case, suspect Thomas Schaefer is accused of ramming a truck intentionally into pursuing officers' cars. Schaefer declined our request for an interview. He did not require hospitalization. In Brevard County, Dan Billow, West 2 News.